Men's 200 metres T51. We'll see the battle commence between two athletes who have always been up against each other. Tony Pispinen, who holds the world record that he set in the European Championships, taking gold early this year, and Peter Hennen of Belgium. This is a wheelchair category for a leg length difference, impaired muscle power or impaired passive range of movement. This is the most impaired of the wheelchair categories. Mohamed Barahal, who was bronze in 2019 at the World Championships. Belgium's Roger Habsch, 42 years of age, still going strong, was fifth at the Worlds two years ago. Helder Mestre, 54 years of age, also going strong, bronze at the Europeans early this year. Navarro Sanchez of Mexico was the gold medalist back in 2004 in Athens. Finland's Tony Pispinen, who holds that world record. He won gold back in 2012. 44 years of age, Peter Jenin of Belgium. Gold in the 1 and 400 in 2016. So a field of seven to go. Third track final of the boarding. And if the first two are anything to go by, this should be an absolute cracker. Tony Pispinen. Egan Navarro Sanchez. Well, the youngest to go in this one is Ernesto Fonseca, who's 39. The eldest, Helda Mestra, who's 54. So age shall not worry these athletes. He's been in, well, he only set that world record in August. Earlier this month. So, 23 days ago, that man there set the world record. You could say he's tapering off very well. So Fonseca, you see there, will go at his first Paralympic Games in two. Apsch in three. Navarro Sanchez in four. Jenin in five. Pispinen in six. Mestre in seven. And Berahal of Algeria in eight. and they get away. And as you can see in this category, it does take a little bit of time for some of them to actually really get their spring on and get moving as best as they can. It is Tony Pispinen on the outside there in the black helmet, who's moving along really strongly. And Navarro Sanchez on the inside of him has now taken over the lead, but it's Pispinen who's fighting back on the outside. and. The man from Finland is going to go across the line and we'll look at the time that he has, 36.81. It's a new Paralympic record for him. It's Navarro Sanchez who takes the silver. Well, Pispinani 
looked really good going around the 100 meter mark and he was just being caught slightly by Navarro Sanchez but he struck back again. Roger Habsch has picked up the bronze medal. Always a battle between Hispanan and his long-term rival, Peter Jenan. Well, it was a good start by Robert Habsch on the inside, and he came out of that bend really in contention. It was easy to get the focus there on Hispanan at the top of your picture, but if you look at the inside, Habsch coming through. Peter Genen, looking like he had the advantage though as they came into the home straight and the Pismanen getting into his rhythm, getting the line straight and just head down those final few strokes. It was pretty close, but he cruised over the line to take the lead, but a great performance for Belgium, getting second and third in this final. That's Finland's first gold medal at these games. Pismanen who suffered a Karate accident injury back in 1993 at the National Championships. He's taken gold for Finland. Paralympic record as well. He set the world record earlier this month. He has both now. Tony Pispinen of Finland. And Roger Habsch's. 42 years of age, has picked up a bronze medal at the Paralympic Games. But that man there, Pispinen, who took silver at the Europeans earlier in the year, has changed that around to a gold medal. He's been working on his starts this year, Tony Pispinen, over the last 18 months, and that's really where he came to the fore. He won the 100 metres at the European Championships and he took the silver in the two, but you just saw him get away and he got too far in front of his long-term rival, Peter Etienne. And he picks up the victory and you can see what it means for Tony Pispinen of Finland. So used to getting silver in this event. This time he's picked up gold. So Pispinen takes it in a Paralympic record. It's Belgium in second and third with Jenin and Habs and Berahal comes home in fourth. 